Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Cami Page Boutique. I'm Brooke Tannehill and today I'm going to show you how I made this geometric and floral glitter tumbler. As always, all the products I use will be listed in the description box below and you may even find a coupon code or two that saves you some coin. Also, come join our exclusive Facebook group where you can take advantage of upcoming freebies and giveaways that you aren't going to want to miss. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and get started. For this design, I started out with a 20 ounce straight skinny from AB Design Co. And I am just sanding the surface just to make sure to get rid of the coating or just rough up the coating. Then I'm going to take some alcohol, spray down the whole cup and then just wipe it down with a shop towel. That's just what I typically use because they have a lot less lint in them. And it helps me to get any of the debris off the cup and ready for moving into our next step. I then grab one of my cheapy makeup brushes that I got from the dollar store and I am using Bella Coral. This is from Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint and I just absolutely love this paint color. It's just so just, it reminds me of summer even though I know it's not summertime, but I just really like corals in general. So this color plays really nicely with the overall design of this cup. So I am just going to come through and just use, again, the makeup brush works the best for this and just do a nice nice even coat over the whole tumbler. Use my heat gun to dry it quickly and then I'm going to move into a second coat of paint. Now you don't have to do um, two coats because you can see it's covering there very nicely. I just do it because I want to make sure that I've just got nice even coverage over the whole tumbler. Since I was live, I was actually working on a couple of cups, but I am just taking probably between one to two milliliters of epoxy and just spreading it over the entire surface of my cup. Um, I was just, I, it's honestly my preferred method of applying glitters, especially if I'm doing um, several cups at once. So I'm just going to take my time, make sure that I've got a nice even coverage over the whole surface, so butt included, and then it is time to grab my glitter and just apply it. For this tumbler, I am using Sweet GA Peach from Peachy Olive Glitters. And I had just gotten this glitter and I was just so excited to use it. So I just poured a little bit into a medicine cup um, just so that I had more control over it because bags and I just, I do not do well with them. So I am just kind of letting a rip tater chip over the entire surface of the cup because we're just going to give it full coverage. So just, I'm kind of taking my time, but not really, just really making sure to get every little inch covered so that we don't have any of the paint popping through, even though the paint's beautiful. But um, I just make sure that I am happy with everything. Then I'm going to let that dry for probably about um, three or four hours, spray seal that twice with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss spray paint, and then I'm going to epoxy until smooth. So with this one, it took two coats of about 20 milliliters, and then it was time to sand. So I get a lot of questions about how do I get smooth tumblers when epoxying, and I have to say it is 100% because of sanding. So I wanted to show in this video what I actually do to get a smooth cup. So if it comes to the butt, I am going to spend time with my sanding block, especially at the corners. Um, I do not use my orbital on the corners because it has a tendency of taking off all the glitter in the paint. Then I'm going to knock it down with the sanding block on the sides, and then I'm going to come in and start to use my flap wheel so this is a 120 grit flap wheel on my dremel and just expose that top um, kind of rim of stainless steel so i have really good adhesion for my next coats of epoxy so i do this first with the drop like the flap wheel just make sure that i've got even um, amounts of stainless steel exposed around the whole top rim and then i always come in with my sanding block just to make sure that i don't have any kind of um, pokey bits or rough edges in case the customer does want to drink out of the cup directly instead of with a straw so i just come in kind of just hit that top rim just really nicely and then um, I wash it with um, Dawn dish soap and water let that dry and then I'm also going to get my final ready while uh, that cup is drying 
Now, you might notice that those are not my hands. So for this step, um, Nick likes to claim that he can do better at vinyl work than I do. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to let you do it this time. So this template for the vinyl that you see here is available on the Cami Page Boutique website. It is a template that I actually designed myself. Um, so I actually really like the way it looks, but I cut it out using just the gold, or I think it's called the platinum textured vinyl from Cricut. And then what Nick did is we weeded it and we're applying the transfer tape. And now he is just trimming the backing of this template as close to the vinyl as possible so that we can get it as straight on the cup um, as we possibly can. And I have to admit, I did not know this, but Nick actually designed the cup cradle that we sell from Cami Page Boutique to do this specifically. But if you saw when he put the cup into the vinyl, it actually allowed the vinyl to come straight up on both sides. And the reason that is really important is because it allows you to then um, almost collapse the design or especially if you're doing sublimation onto itself pretty easily. So I didn't even know that, but I was like, that's pretty awesome. So what he did is he, put the design into the cup cradle taped it into place in the middle and what he's going to do is just kind of right there he's just pushing the vinyl onto the transfer tape I don't really like this transfer tape but I just use it um, it's not sticky enough for me but he's just going to pull that backing off just a little bit cut the paper and then just gently push it down so this is his method for applying this um, kind of templates as you see here i do it differently but if it's what works for him then that works then he's just going to remove the tape from the center and then he's probably i'm guessing but i've also seen this already um, he's just going to remove the rest of the backing and just make sure that that vinyl is nicely pushed down before he moves around now with the textured vinyl you do have to make sure just to take your time because it does not like to stick to um, transfer tape i don't care I've tried a bunch. It just does not like it. It works, but um, as you can see there, the edges of the template did not want to stick. So you just have to kind of take your time and make sure that it is attached to the transfer tape. Otherwise, you can rip the design. But he is just using a squeegee to kind of push the vinyl off of the backing. He gave up at that point. <laughs> he just continued around the cup. Now, I think he did a pretty good job. Um, I would not tell that to his face, but um, all he's doing there is just making sure that the stripes perfectly line up. He always has a hat on, as you can see there. It kind of looks gross. I may, might need to buy him a new one, um, but he's just lining up the stripes so that they go around the cup perfectly. Um, and then we are just going to take our time and get everything else pushed down. Once everything is lined up, he's just gonna take that squeegee and push it down um, one last time before removing the transfer tape, and he's just going to peel the transfer tape right off, and voila, the template is attached. Okay, it's me again. So now what I'm going to do is just run my X-Acto knife down the middle of where the vinyl meets. So I always like to cut my templates just a little bit bigger than they should be so I can trim it up. Uh, it's just my worst nightmare that the two ends aren't going to meet up and it's just going to look bad. So I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and just running it down the middle and then pushing down any excess that's there. So you can see there, there was just a little bit more on both sides. So I'm just going down the middle, pushing hard enough to cut down on both pieces and then just removing the extra piece that you can see there and making sure that the vinyl is pushed down. Now, you could leave this if you wanted to. I just wanted to try and make it look like the template was as seamless as possible. It actually is designed to be seamless. So if you got it perfectly sized, the sides should meet up, um, but I just wanted to trim it. And speaking of trimming vinyl, I'm just going to spin this cup on the vinyl trimmer from Cami Page Boutique just to make sure that I've got a nice even line at the bottom. It, 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 the template was applied straight, so I shouldn't have an issue, but I'm just going to cut off any of the excess at that bottom rim. Then I'm going to take my time making sure that all of the vinyl is nice and pushed down on the cup. Then I'm going to move into a coat of epoxy and like magic right here, it is dried and it is time to apply our florals. These florals are from AB Design Co. and they have a white ink backing, so they are just so beautiful and they stand out on any color. So I am just going to cut them down to size. These aren't pre-cut, which, 
which I actually like. Um, but all you do is just remove the backing. I run my finger down the middle of the decal and then just take my time smoothing them out on both sides. And that prevents any bubbles from popping up underneath the decals, which will show underneath the clear um, vinyl. Then I apply the rest of the decals and then I wanted to add a little bit of epoxy additive to this cup to really make the decals and the whole design really sparkle. This is Glorious from AB Design Co. And it was just a perfect, more of like a gold shift epoxy additive. And I thought it was just amazing with the other colors on this cup. So I just mixed in a little bit into about 20 milliliters of epoxy and I just went right in. Now I did not need to seal these decals before epoxy because the vinyl is, it just works. Um, so I went in with this coat of epoxy with the epoxy additive in it, let that dry and I went in with one final coat of epoxy which was also about 20 milliliters, and this baby was done. I absolutely love how this turned out. The colors in the flowers are right up my alley. They have some of my just absolute favorites incorporated into them. So I hope you love this as much as I do. I hope this tutorial inspires you and I can't wait to see what you create. If you have any questions about any of the steps or information, please feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help. As always, thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you liked this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see future videos. You can also ring the bell so you're notified of all future cup making goodies. Thank you again. I love you guys. Bye.